thousands of Swifties without tickets are planning to show up anyway and party in the parking lot. Yeah! A phenomenon known as Taylor gating. Taylor Swift has found herself in unsettling situations recently while being in New York City between shows and studio visits. With a significant amount of attention surrounding her at the moment, it appears that more and more individuals are attempting to catch a glimpse of her. While it's important to note that not all Taylor Swift fans behave this way, there are some who are taking their admiration to the extreme. However, it's worth mentioning that these individuals cannot be considered genuine fans if they lack basic respect for her. Lately, there have been reports of people who claim to be fans waiting outside places where Taylor has been in New York, and the situation seems to have escalated to an even more intense level than ever before. It's not uncommon for celebrities to be surrounded by paparazzi and fans, especially when we're discussing someone like Taylor Swift. People have waited outside Taylor's home in the past, so it's not an entirely new phenomenon. However, the current situation has reached unprecedented levels. I have never witnessed anything quite like this before, with people gathering near her garage door and flashing their cameras towards her car window, desperately trying to catch a glimpse of her face inside the vehicle. The crowds outside her home and studio have become massive, larger than anything I've seen before. This disturbing scenario has gained significant attention online, sparking discussions about the extreme lengths people are going to just to see her. Personally, I find it deeply troubling, and many others have been expressing their concerns as well. The videos from this past weekend in particular have been truly shocking. Numerous individuals have been openly sharing accounts of how they have stalked and harassed Taylor Swift at her home and studio, and it's disconcerting to witness. What's even stranger is that these individuals are proudly posting about their actions, seemingly oblivious to the fact that what they are doing is deeply problematic. They boast about the hours they've spent waiting to catch a glimpse of her or the videos they've obtained, even when Taylor appears visibly scared in those recordings. It's truly baffling how these people can take pride in obtaining such footage. Let me say something real quick, I don't understand what these people are thinking. Taylor is not going to greet you when you are stalking her at her own house. It's absurd. There have been instances where people have followed Taylor's car all the way to her home simply to try and catch a glimpse of her. The whole situation is an absolute mess and deeply concerning. This topic was discussed in her Miss Americana documentary on Netflix, where she steps out of her New York City apartment, gets into her car and remarks, so this is my front yard. It's evident from her words that Taylor is fully aware of the abnormality of this situation. She has previously addressed this issue, and it's clear that she doesn't relish the fact that her front yard is not a private space. Being a celebrity, it's challenging for her to feel completely normal, but it's safe to say that nobody would appreciate such an invasive intrusion. However, some fans have responded to the ongoing incidents online by expressing their concerns. They emphasize their love for Taylor but strongly condemn the act of waiting outside her studio, home, or any other place as an invasion of privacy. They assert that such behavior is far from normal and that those engaging in it should not consider themselves true fans. Rather, they view such actions as a form of stalking, displaying a disturbing pattern. These fans believe that genuine supporters would respect Taylor's boundaries and not engage in activities like chasing her car or shouting at her. Waiting outside her home or studio is deemed unacceptable and repulsive. They express dismay at the fact that some individuals fail to recognize Taylor as a human being, as evidenced by her visible fear and distress. While those who engage in such behaviors are urged to seek therapy, as their actions cross boundaries and exhibit unhealthy fixation, it's important to realize that being the type of fan who engages in such behaviors can be genuinely unsettling for Taylor, leading her to avoid any interaction in such settings. Therefore, it becomes necessary to question the purpose behind these actions. While some individuals may genuinely wish to see her, it's highly unlikely that she would stop to take pictures or engage in such interactions in that environment. This holds especially true for her home, as indulging in a photo with someone at her residence would inadvertently send a message to others that it's acceptable to approach her there. Consequently, this would only attract more people to her home, creating an unsustainable situation. Under no circumstances would Taylor willingly pause to take a picture with someone outside of her home. It's important to understand that she dislikes the invasion of her front yard, which is the behavior being exhibited in such situations. However, it's crucial to recognize that the repercussions of this behavior extend beyond Taylor herself. While some argue that this is an expected consequence of being a celebrity, there are individuals who hold the perspective that they feel no sympathy for famous personalities. Nevertheless, it's worth noting that Taylor resides in New York City, where she lives in an apartment and her studio is located in a shared building. Hence, 
there are others who also face the challenge of having their front yards affected by such intrusions. It's safe to assume that these individuals did not willingly sign up to endure such experiences. A post was made claiming that Taylor Swift is my neighbor, and it appears to be in front of her studio. The scene is truly unbelievable. Although it's not the largest crowd I've witnessed, it's still quite alarming and frightening. What's even more disheartening is that these individuals are not just gathered outside Taylor's home, but also encroaching upon the living spaces of other people. This situation is undeniably sad, and concerned individuals rightfully advise the original poster to relocate due to potential dangers. However, it's important to address the issue appropriately, as the focus should be on educating others who engage in such unacceptable behavior. Waiting outside somebody's home is definitely not okay, and it's crucial for others to understand this and adjust their actions accordingly. It's quite astonishing to think about what would happen if these people found themselves in a situation where their own homes had a group of individuals waiting outside. Most likely, they would be completely taken aback, promptly contact the police, and express their strong dissatisfaction. However, it's equally mind-boggling to observe the stark contrast in videos and pictures capturing Taylor's arrival at the studio where no one is present. It seems as though a random person would suddenly exclaim, Oh my god, I saw Taylor walking into the studio, while they themselves are on their way to work, managing to capture a photograph. Yet by the end of the day, when Taylor is leaving the studio, there is an overwhelming surge of hundreds of people eagerly awaiting her outside. This sudden gathering occurs solely because these individuals saw on Twitter that she was present at the studio. The stark difference in these scenarios is quite remarkable. The sheer number of people who abruptly abandon everything and rush to the scene is remarkable. It happened just last week, where initially nobody was around, but once one person spotted Taylor, everyone seemed to appear out of nowhere. Some individuals online may argue that waiting outside the studio is not as problematic, but considering the massive crowds and the fact that other ordinary people reside in those buildings, it becomes quite unsettling. One might assume that younger fans may not fully comprehend the importance of personal space and respect, but what's surprising is that many of those who post about Taylor on their genuine social media accounts are adults. They are grown-ups, not just teenagers. It's perplexing to fathom what goes through their minds. Nevertheless, their behavior is being scrutinized, and rightfully so. While some of these fans may indeed be young, there is a recent video capturing Taylor leaving the studio with a group of girls screaming, indicating that the issue spans different age groups. In conclusion, the recent incidents involving Taylor Swift and the extreme behavior of certain individuals waiting outside her home and studio in New York City have reached unprecedented levels. While not all fans exhibit such intrusive behavior, it is crucial to acknowledge that those who engage in stalking, harassment, and invasion of her personal space cannot be considered genuine fans. The disturbing actions of these individuals, as captured in videos and shared online, have garnered significant attention and concern. It is evident that Taylor herself is fully aware of the abnormality of the situation, as highlighted in her Miss Americana documentary. She has expressed her discomfort with the invasion of her front yard and the lack of privacy she experiences as a celebrity. Genuine fans have responded by condemning the invasive behavior, emphasizing the importance of respecting boundaries and recognizing Taylor as a human being. They view the actions of these individuals as a form of stalking, displaying a disturbing pattern and encouraging unhealthy fixation. So, that's all from today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon so you never miss our upcoming videos. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments section. Stay tuned, and we will catch you in the next video.